We preview this weekend's NFL playoff action, featuring the Indianapolis Colts at Kansas City Chiefs, Dallas Cowboys at Los Angeles Rams, Los Angeles Chargers at New England Patriots and Philadelphia Eagles at New Orleans Saints. We are live on Sky Sports USA, Channel 407, from 9 p.m. on Saturday for half an hour's build-up to the first game of the night. Here is a look ahead to what you can expect over what is set to be a thrilling divisional round, Indianapolis Colts. They dismissed the Texans with ease in Houston last week. Can they continue this astonishing run against the Chiefs? 437 highlights from the NFL as the Indianapolis Colts took on the Houston Texans in the AFC wildcard round. Highlights from the NFL as the Indianapolis Colts took on the Houston Texans in the AFC wildcard round. Kansas City 12-4 started out as the top team team in football, five straight wins to begin the season and nine in their first ten games, but fell back down to earth a little down the stretch, losing three of their last six. Andy Reid's Chiefs have been here before, they have reached the postseason in five of his six seasons in charge, but this time, they have probable MVP Patrick Mahomes. KC finished first in yards and points scored, and will demand nothing less than a Super Bowl appearance. Stat Attack Mahomes became the second player in NFL history with at least 5,000 passing yards, 5,097, and 50 touchdown passes, 50, in a single season with his outstanding first year as the starter. Once to watch Andrew Luck return to the lineup for Indy after missing the entire 2017 season and an injury late in 2016, and has been playing at an elite level. Behind arguably the best offensive line in the NFL, he tossed 39 touchdowns this season and registered career bests in passer rating 98.7 and completion percentage 67.3. He will need to be on his game to keep up with Kansas City. Colts quarterback Andrew Luck is one to watch. It is worth watching how running back Marlon Mack follows up his 49 carries, 267 yards and two touchdowns over the last two weeks. He has been key to Indy's dominance and keeping opposing offenses off the field. While you are watching Mack dedicate some snaps to admiring rookie All-Pro guard Quentin Nelson, big number 56. He is an offensive line highlight reel. There is also T.Y. Hilton, one of the more underappreciated receivers in the NFL. He has had at least 65 catches, 1,000 yards and 5 touchdowns in 5 of the last 6 seasons, and remains Luck's go-to. Except for in the red zone, where big tight end Eric Ebron managed 13 touchdowns this season, and added one more last week. Finally, rookie linebacker Darius, the maniac, Leonard is a total stud. He led the league in tackles during the regular season, and racked up 13 in the wild card round. Patrick Mahomes leads the way for the Chiefs, and his numbers speak for themselves. He put up video game-like statistics all season, with Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey being the main beneficiaries. Hill set a single-season franchise record with 1,479 receiving yards, while Kelsey registered a third straight season with at least 80 catches and 1,000 yards, adding a career-high 10 scores. Tariq Hill is a big threat in the Chiefs' passing game running back Damian Williams and Spencer Ware have tried to replace Kareem Hunt's production after he was released by the team in late November, but simply do not pose the same threat. How they perform will be crucial to the Chiefs. The Chiefs' defense is porous. They allowed the second most yards this season, but Chris Jones was a bright spot. He registered 15.5 sacks this year, including an 11 game stretch with at least one. Dallas Cowboys. Go all the way if they defeat LA. The Cowboys have beaten the Eagles twice, and Saints and New Orleans, during their streak of eight wins in the past nine games. The Rams, 13-3, meanwhile, just held on to the number two seed ahead of Chicago despite dropping two games in December to the Eagles and Bears. The buzz slowed down in the last month, but they were unstoppable early on, eight straight victories to start the year, and will want to prove they are not a one-and-done postseason team like last year. 
stat attack rooms defensive tackle Aaron Donald, 20.5 sacks, won the 2018 Deacon Jones Award, given annually to the NFL leader in quarterback sacks, they were the most ever by a DT, ones to watch the Cowboys are led by a tremendous trio of Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, and Amari Cooper. Prescott proved his sophomore season was just a slump, rebounding and finishing the season on fire. Elliott led the league in rushing yards, 1,434, and ran all over the Seahawks last week, 26 carries, 137 yards, and a score. Cooper, since joining via trade from Oakland, has been a game-changer on the outside. Courtesy of pro football focus but Dallas can be dominant on defense, thanks largely to linebackers Leighton Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith, who can work north to south, and sideline to sideline. In fact, the group are the best remaining point-scoring D in the playoffs, they surrendered the sixth best 20.3 per game. Los Angeles have arguably the best back in the NFL, running back Todd Gurley, who led the NFL with 21 scrimmage touchdowns and ranked fourth with 1,831 scrimmage yards, that is after a 2,093-yard, 19-touchdown 2017 season. His quarterback Jared Goff will be in the spotlight though. Although his numbers are impressive, he needs to prove himself on the big stage, as does head coach Sean McVay. Robert Woods and Brandon Cooks can help him out, courtesy of pro football focus Aaron Donald is, according to many people, the best defender in football. Look for him to give Dallas offensive linemen nightmares. Indomitian Sue is capable of doing the same, without the consistency. Cornerback Marcus Peters is a ball hack, and the Rams traded for him for moments like this. Los Angeles Chargers Next up, Tom Brady and company. Los Angeles are built for success, and can win in multiple ways. Last week they used seven defensive backs on 58 of 59 snaps as part of a unique game plan. What will they scheme up this time? 653 highlights from the NFL as the Los Angeles Chargers took on the Baltimore Ravens in the NFL wildcard round. Highlights from the NFL as the Los Angeles Chargers took on the Baltimore Ravens in the NFL wildcard round. New season, same old story. Are the Patriots 11-5 finished? In a down year, they still managed to win 11 games and wrap up the number two seed, beating every opponent they faced who made the playoffs, Texans, Colts, Chiefs, Bears. Yes, a two-week stretch where they were subject to this Miami miracle and had a bad offensive outing in Pittsburgh have taken away some of their invincibility, but it is the Patriots' stat attack last week. Rookie kicker Mike Badgley converted five field goals, the most made field goals in a single postseason game since the 2016 season. Pittsburgh's Chris Boswell wants to watch where to start with the Chargers. They have stars at quarterback, Philip Rivers, running back, Melvin Gordon, wide receiver, Keenan Allen, defensive end, Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram, corner, Casey Hayward, and safety, Derwin James. That is just brushing the surface. Courtesy of Pro Football Focus could this finally be Rivers' time? He has the 12th most wins of all time, the 8th most yards, the 6th most touchdowns, yet still has not reached a Super Bowl. In the 2007-8 seasons, the Chargers were twice knocked out by New England when they had the talent to go all the way. It could be time for Rivers' revenge. In his way, Tom Brady, the NFL's all-time postseason leader in games played, 37, wins, 27, completions, 920, passing yards, 10,226, and touchdown passes, 71. It almost does not matter who his weapons are, but they just happen to include tight end Rob Gronkowski, who has 12 career playoff touchdown catches, tied with Pro Football Hall of Famer John Stallworth for the second most in postseason history, albeit Grank does not look 100%. Courtesy of Pro Football Focus then there is trust target Julian Edelman, Sony Michel and James White in the backfield, and electrifying returner, gadget man Cordero Patterson. Who will be the featured player in the game plan this week? Philadelphia Eagles. Then they went into Chicago, against the number one ranked defense in the NFL, and drove down the field to win the game, holding on thanks to the double doink.
Nick Foles' legend continues. 104 Chicago Bears' Cody Parkey missed a crucial 43-yard field goal in the dying seconds as he hit the upright and crossbar meaning his side lost to Philadelphia Eagles. Chicago Bears' Cody Parkey missed a crucial 43-yard field goal in the dying seconds as he hit the upright and crossbar meaning his side lost to Philadelphia Eagles. New Orleans, 13-3 finished alone with the best record in football. Yet again, it was mostly due to their dynamic, almost impossible to defend attack, led by head coach Sean Payton and quarterback Drew Brees. They were 6-1 at home before resting starters, including a 48-7 beatdown of the Eagles, and are a perfect 5-0 at home in the postseason under Payton. The Saints will be hard to stop. Stat attack Brees set an NFL single-season record for completion percentage, 74.4, and led the league in passer rating, 115.7, in 2018. Once to watch the last two seasons for Nick Foles have been simply insane. From getting traded, to being cut, to contemplating retirement, he has come back and had a pair of sensational stretches as the starter. Last postseason, he went 3-0, had a passer rating of 115.7, and was named Super Bowl MVP. He came up big when it mattered against the Bears, but can he keep up with the high-scoring Saints? Courtesy of pro football focus Foles will look to big targets Al Sean Jeffrey and Zach Ertz on offense, but on defense, the Eagles must get pressure on Breeze, and Fletcher Cox and Michael Bennett have played at an elite level during Philadelphia's winning run. It is worth looking out for safety Malcolm Jenkins, a former street, who is the defensive leader, and rookie corner Avante Maddox, who had an outstanding first half in Chicago, but was burned in the second. Breeze may target the youngster. Drew Brees is a Hall of Fame quarterback but he only has one Lombardi trophy to his name. All he craves is another, and he might not have had a more balanced defense to support him in his career. Running backs Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara are a formidable duo, while receiver Michael Thomas had 125 receptions and set a franchise single-season record with 1,405 receiving yards. Courtesy of Pro Football Focus the offensive line can be dominant, so it will be fun to see if they can move the pile against one of the best D-lines in football. On the defensive side of the ball, the Saints need their playmakers to step up to help out the O. Cameron Jordan will be gunning for Foles, and corners Eli Apple and Marsha on Lattimore will want to replicate the first time. These teams met, no Eagles receiver had more than 50 yards, at PFF will provide a host of in-depth analysis throughout the season across Sky Sports platforms including our live coverage on Sunday and throughout our weekly build-up and reaction on www.skysports.com slash NFL.